Now one thing can happen with, with any uh, animal is an amputated tail. Now there's lots of problems with amputated tails because to start with there's a lot of blood vessels, they bleed a lot and also being the tail they tend to wag a lot so even if you've got some healing or you've got some bandages on there there can be a problem because the blood can just be, uh, the bleed can just start again. So other videos we show you how to put dressings on uh, and use sort of cohesive bandage to hold them in place because a conventional bandage is often quite hard. Unless the dog's got a very fluffy tail, a normal bandage will hold on for a cut up here, but something like an amputation is a lot, lot harder to have. So you really would have to use the cohesive bandage to hold it in place. So something like an amputated tail here, this is a full amputation. Um, so we're gonna need to cover that over so we can put the collar clot over the end. Um, again, we can take gauze and hold that in place. Remember and keep yourself safe because it's not going to be a very happy dog here so you don't want to get yourself bitten so just be careful of that end. So we're actually holding the collar clot over the end and we've actually got the dressing in place there as well. So the collar clot's now doing its job. Uh, it's stopping the bleed. It's also promoting healing. So we're going to try and stabilize as much as we can before we get them to the vet. So once we've got that on nice and tidily, um, check there's no bleeding coming through. We can then take the cohesive bandage and we can hold that in place so it will give enough pressure because it will dress it on. Because it's got collar clot on it, it's going to be promoting the healing. Therefore, it means that while you're, if it is wagging its tail, it's not such a problem. Um, but uh, be very careful. Now with the amputated piece that's come off, it's always worth taking that to the vets as well. Um, you know, I spoke to a lot of vets, it's very hard sometimes to actually reattach a tail, um, but we do need to make sure this is nice and secure. Uh, and because it's an amputation, there's also potential problems with infection. So putting collar clot on there is another really good thing to do because you're not gonna be building anything up there that's gonna cause an infection problem. So once you've got it, the animal stabilized, get them to the vet as quick as possible.